Today is Thursday, April 20th. Let me turn this way. Today is Thursday, April 20th. And I just came on here to say what they do. But I think I'm going to stay on for a little bit. Because, y'all, this is the first time since I picked up the camera since me and Mr. went to, um, to eat. No, we went, first we went to a baby shower. And then after we went to the baby shower, we went out to get some drinks. And then after drinks, then we went to Chef Adrian's and got something to eat for dinner. So that was the last time that I can remember me picking up any type of camera to do anything. I haven't even posted on um, TikTok. Y'all, I miss posting on TikTok. It's so quick and easy and fun because I get to put my own little something, something into it. <laughs> So I'm trying my little creativity skills that I do have. So, um, yeah. But today I wanted to just come on here because y'all, I'm taking a little break from working. Um, I'm thinking about taking a break, finish off this week. Yes. But the following week, just take a whole week off. I supposed to have did that this week, but I didn't. So, um, next week I would do that because in May, y'all know prom is coming and stuff like that. And I got to hook the girls up. <laughs> I have to hook the girls up. Um, a lot of school activities for the last month of May. So, you know, neither she going to want to be beautified and all that. So, so I, tr I decided to, um, just finish up what I'm going to do this week when it comes to taking care of services and um, dealing with the children or whatever. Next week, I will just chill. Don't do no services because i not doing anything. I already told everybody I need a little break to myself. I need to, I need to like figure out things for myself in life and where I want to be and just you know meditate not meditate but just talk with God and stuff like that just just give myself my place basically and just stop being all over the place in my head and just be one with everything basically I don't know. I got, I'm changing. I can, I know that. I understand that I am changing. I'm being a little different. I don't know. Lately, I feel like a different person because I'm trying to clean up myself and not become, be that person how I used to. So, you know, taking little parts, not just, not because of somebody said something, oh, you this and you that. I'm talking about what I don't like when it comes to myself, me and my, me, myself and I situation. Not nobody saying, oh girl, you this and that and stuff like that. No, I'm not saying like that. I'm saying when it comes to me, myself and I, I'm fixing that those parts of me that I don't like about myself that I know that I need to change and it's annoying to me so um I, like little habits that I want to stop doing but I can't stop doing it like I can tell you one of the habits picking at my face I'm always picking at my face that's one bad habit that I have and I need to stop doing it because my face is not going to get better if I'm keep putting my hands in my face so that's one habit that I'm trying to like uh fight myself and just make myself a little bit better so I can you know be the person that I want to be and not you know get you know I don't have no nothing against people that got surgery that's I had surgery mm -hmm. to each his own but I don't want to always put chemicals in my face. I want to go a little more, you know, natural route and try that way versus me buying chemical, having chemicals like shoot up in my face and stuff like that. But 
the, the lip fillers, you know, some people need them. I ain't gonna lie. I, I, some people do not have no lips at all. And think, you know, I was blessed with these babies here. So, but some people do not have no lips. And if they need a little touching up to get that, mm, how they feel to make them feel comfortable. So let it be. I don't think people should be nitpicking at people because they insecure about a certain part of their body. Like me, I was my boobies was just too huge, and I was like, "Girl, your back is hurt, and you need to you need to like lift them up from having children, and then you you need to t take some away because it's just too big." So um, that's why I got a breast lift and a breast reduction that's the reason why I did that and then the tummy tuck y'all I had two natural births and two c-sections so yeah even though I exercised that part out it just did not look right to me the hanging skin so I just you know say gloop, gloop. <laughs> and I'm being straight up honest with you that was a that, that doesn't it didn't bother me because I had a fufa no it just I felt like I got it was just like the loose skin I just couldn't deal with that I couldn't deal with that basically that's what I'm trying to say um some fufas are cute because it doesn't look like they have like a hangover skin they just have like a little pudge but no I just couldn't deal with mine because when I lose weight you see nothing but the skin and I just got tired of it so yeah that's why I did that but um when it comes to bbls and stuff like that no i don't need it because I, I am blessed with it though i'm just glad that i got this the boobs done you know and not done but re yeah done did take a take some out and fix it up um the, the nipples are cute i like i like that yeah mm -hmm. they not big like how they they not huge like how they was so yeah i like that <laughs> I can say that so but other than that when it comes to surgery it's just you just got to do your research and you know pray leave things up in God's hands because it is what it is some people surgery come out looking good the bomb like woo, honey um from the same doctor I'm talking about but you know others like me hey it is what it is but then it's like okay this happened to me life lesson people make mistakes you gotta you have to live past those mistakes that someone have done to you and i'm talking about any type of mistake that's the biggest forgiveness that you can give yourself say somebody hurt you and you feel like man i got i'm, I'm gonna take this grudge and you, you but you know that either your best friend or a friend or family member that you truly love but y'all just fall apart be the bigger person be like you know what life is too short let me reach out and just see how they doing i'm not saying like go party in the next day and vibing with them no i'm not saying that i'm saying Little by little, if someone hurts you, you could be the bit of a good person to teach them that there is change out here in the world. Because you're not holding on to something that you could let go. Um, I'm not talking about if somebody rape you. That's a bi that's the biggest challenge. If somebody did that to any one of y'all out there, that is the biggest challenge in your head. Because if that happens, you have to find somewhere deep in here to forgive that person, then forgive yourself, and then let it go. Be the best thing and the best person, not a person, but our creator, our God, our love, I am, Yahweh, God, give it to him. Him, spirit, soul. Because we really don't know these these lessons and these teachings has been passed down to us through generations and generations and like grandparents like my grandma learned this from her grandma her mother her mother learned it from her mother it's just these teachings has been passed down 
for generations. But the best way that you can know that what's for you in the Bible and what's not for you in the Bible by building a relationship with the Most High. That's how you transform yourself to the person that you know you can become. It's just, I know, <laughs> I don't know, y'all, I be getting so deep in my head. And that's why sometimes I be wanting to come on here and I don't because I be so much into my head. Y'all, I really, really love myself and I really enjoy myself because I can teach my myself my own lessons just if I just be quiet and just listen to others and, you know speak to others and try to help others i'm trying to adjust this y'all <laughs> try to listen to others and y'all share you know the ones that you trust basically not you can't share everything with anybody oh snap you can't share you know your all with just anybody but when you can share your all with yourself if you don't have nobody try try y'all i've been telling y'all Let's see if one of my boots gonna really do this. I'm gonna challenge y'all, right? One day you're gonna just um, let me change this battery real fast. Let me so, like I was saying, um, like one day when you this gotta be as pure, as hard, as comfortable as you can be, right? And this gotta come in when something tap you in the back and say, you know what, you're ready. It can't be. Just because, oh, let me just try this. No, 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 no. You have to wait till the Spirit of God come to you. The Holy Spirit of God come to you and tap you in the back. And that's when you will know that you are ready. When you're ready to just let go and really give God. Just, I'm not saying... Because God wants you to not rush into him because he's not a rush. You can't rush into a relationship. Well, no, relationships takes time. Like say if you first meet somebody that you really, really want and really like, honey, right? And he introduced you, he, she introduced you to yourself, right? You introduce each other. And you guys were like, um, hi, my name is such and such. And you're like, hey, my name is such and such. And he finally asked you out on a date. You know that bubbly feeling that you get like, oh my gosh, I can't believe this because um, he finally asked me out on a date. Or he finally asked me to be his girlfriend. Or he finally asked me to be his wife. That feeling that you're going to have when, if you ever felt the feeling of, oh my gosh, I'm pregnant. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna have a baby. Um, oh my gosh, that's that's I'm gonna have a little one. That feeling when you first push out your child or I get a C section and you just first see your child in your hands. Not in your hands, but either they give it to you in your hands or you have to look at it because you got a C section boo. C section boo. You gotta be like, oh you can't even touch the baby because you know <laughs> You just wanna just like that's nice. How he get the whole face? Like, no, I suppose to hold the first, but hey, some babies just, you got to just get get a C-section. <laughs> so, <laughs> so that feeling of the joyness that, you know, that the attention is all on you, right? So that feeling that you have there, that's what you give to God. Because you're thanking him for yourself because he opened your gift of life y'all if you wake up in the morning and you either wake up to yourself wake up to your child wake up to your mates whatever your parents whoever whatever however if he wake you up the first thing in the morning guess what you just open up the precious gift that you can ever open because guess what he just did to you? He gave you a chance to start all over. But whatever that you did in the past, you can bring it up front and be better. 
He gave you another chance. So if he's giving you that another chance, why wouldn't you take that chance and say, Father, I thank you. I am, I thank you. Yahweh, I thank you. God, I thank you. I praise you because at this moment, I get to see whoever that's next to me first. They up, you hear them. The children up, ready for school. Or your parents up, cooking free food downstairs, breakfast. Whoever is up, you hear them. You the first one up. You get to see them first. No matter what it is, give him thanks just for that. And if you allow you to do that, you going on your day just having like, yes, uh, he chose me to be here to be his soldier so I can be a better person. So when it's that time to become his soldier, I'm already sharp and ready. So he's teaching you. He's leading you. He's guiding you. But if you go going to work, um, waking up and be like, I don't want to go to work. These little, little people are uh, uh, headed bad here and there, all this stuff. Y'all, yeah, for real, stop that. Just stop that because I was one of those people. And ever since I changed my mindset of being grateful and being thankful, the path that I'm on is more than. More than anybody can tell me. The path that he's putting me on. Even though I be like leaning sideways. Y'all all over the place. Can't get things done on time. Like uh, backed up with stuff. But I still see my path. It's, it's just I'm going to get there. It's no, I don't have to rush. Because I'm still going in my pathway. I'm still with my head up. I'm still graceful and thankful. I'm still seeing my children. I am grateful. Y'all. They have jobs. The two older ones. Yes, they still live home at, with their parents. It's so hard out there right now. Yeah. It's, it's fine. Let them save. That's how you're going to make them that break that generational wealth. Let them stay here. Your home. If you have children, my them, you know, that's what I'm telling myself. Like my age children, because they grown. My baby's grown. And then I have my two youngest ones. But it's it's like let them stay, let them build that wealth for themselves. And when they ready, they have their first last security extra, 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 extra. <laughs> and they bank account. Okay, y'all ready up. It's time for you to go peace now it's time for me and mr the you know do what we do but until then how could they see what not to do and make it better because they just are same they just the same image of us but just little because when we leave they're gonna be a part of us they're gonna have our little ways like nyla act like me sometimes i'll be like boo she say boo they had pick up little stuff from me. I pick up little stuff from them. It's just that cycle of generation. And that goes for yourself as well. The cycle of generation that you're doing for yourself. You can take some stuff out of it if it's sour. You could take the sour parts out and fill it up with something new and better. You don't have to take um, certain parents if they did something wrong to you. Or you have a grudge with your mom or your dad, whoever. You don't have to take that sourness because guess what? They had to learn their lesson. It was hard for them. They don't have as much as what we have today. So don't be bitter with them. Like aunties, uncles, whoever. Just don't, you know, it's just move past all that and make yourself better. And that's the fight that you got to fight with yourself in your head. Everything is, everything that I'm saying is the fight here in your head. Because they not worrying about, oh, is she really talking about me? It's all in their head. They probably really want to be with you. But it's like a fight with themselves. Should they do this or should they do not? Should they stay together and um, work it out? Or should we just bit apart? Or whatever the situation is, it's up to us in our head to fix ourselves first. We have to fix ourselves first because 
once we we do that as people take away all that negative from ourselves negative won't come to you because God is going to make sure it doesn't come to you because when that person come to you he's already straight when it come to you but when they go to when they go to somebody else hey that's that's they probably be like, blah, 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 to somebody else but when it comes to you no matter who it is they're going to be straight with you because God for that moment while they talking with you talking to you or being with you or hanging with you it's going to be straight for all of y'all that's when you're going to build that bond because you got yourself straight you confident Yes, I know it's going to be some days that you just like, man, I ain't got time for this. This again. How do you fight that? I don't know. Because I be fighting it, y'all. <laughs> like, I be fighting myself. I be fighting myself. And then I, then I check myself at the same time. Yeah, I'll be fighting myself here, but then here be like, girl, get it together. You got this. You got this because you know who you have that watch over you. That let allow you to open up the gift of life, Lord. Yes. So you just got to let that go. And that's the battle that I be fighting with in my head. I don't know if anybody can relate. <laughs> but yeah, it gets better. As it gets better, the days are so bright. Yes, it's so much. You can you, you can feel everything in the world. You see everything. You understand. You're starting to understand and be grateful. Pray for others that you don't even know because it's so much craziness so much craziness and then when you feel like you awoke and somebody else that you're telling a story to is not awoke it's like mm, they is you clashing so with that you just gotta be here mindful and just pray it out but this is life i guess <laughs> I know I'm just like ah, la, 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 la. y'all I be in my heads in my thoughts. Yeah. <laughs> I be in my head in my thoughts. <sighs> I know y'all y'all can't tell me y'all don't be in your head in your thoughts. I'm not the only one. I am not the only one like this. I know there's others like this. I know I'm not the only one be all in my head, all in my thoughts. Um all over the place at time but have it con under control um i don't whine out loud but i whine inside if that make any sense so yeah but yeah uh, work has been good. I'm going to tell y'all that. Work has been good. I'm excited because it's prom. Man, it's prom. And I like doing um, young girls makeup too. Uh, I like that. So, yeah. But Lulu, she wants a quinceañera this year because she turned 15 in August. But um, she has a cousin um, two days after her. And they act, they act a lot, y'all. But it's it, they act alike but opposite a little bit so um yeah they want to do it together but we'll see we'll see we'll see y'all and she want to go to california to get a dress and i'm like girl we ain't doing all that i understand why because of mexico and they probably have like um get like factories from there and it's closer and basically over here everybody already had the same dresses over here so far that i saw when we um looked at pictures and stuff like that so we will see we'll see honey we will see lord we will see that's gonna be a, a, another headache <laughs> another headache oh my gosh i can say yada I knew this day was gonna come, but you know my mind's already was prepared. Prepared. Um, she already know the colors she want. She want to try on three colors: green, 
um, non-traditional black. <laughs> Cause she thinks she look fine and black. <laughs> She thinks she look good in black, but who don't? But who don't think they look good in black? Because black make everybody look sexy. That's just my opinion. We put on black oh, and browns on chocolate. Oh, my God. Chocolate women's skin. Oh, my goodness. Sexy. And they could wear cream, too. Chocolate skin women can wear cream. Like, with my skin complexion and black and dark browns, and I would say burnt orange, um, and if you want to tone it down a little bit, a little honey in the middle for my skin tone. That's how I, you know, and greens, greens, greens for both skin colors, greens and oranges for both skin complexions. Sexy. Mm, sexy to me. <laughs> um, but yeah, in her other color, she said, I think she want to try on a cream dress or a blue, either cream or blue. So, she going to have me in that place just trying on different stuff. Mm-mm. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. I need to put on some socks. It's cold in here. <laughs> Y'all, when I'm cold, like my feet be cold, my lips will turn um pink. I mean, blue. <laughs> my lips will turn blue when my, my feet be cold. That's how I know I got to put on some socks. I'm saying. So, I can even up my heat circulation. My bad, y'all. <laughs> My bad. Um, so I didn't finish the. I didn't show y'all the bathroom because I'm not finished with it. This weekend, I'm gonna finish up the bathroom and then I'm gonna finish cleaning up here. I already started cleaning up here. Um, throughout the week, I think Tuesday I did this. Either Monday or Tuesday, I cleaned up over here. But, but it's not done. I still have to put the, the computer is in there and then I, my stand by me is still in there in the closet. Yeah, y'all. I know. I know. I know, I know. I know. I need to stop that. I got so much boxes. If I show y'all, look. See those boxes? Right there. That's the stand by me. And on the other side is um um the computer that I that Apple computer. So I just got to put it up, y'all. I would. I would. I told myself, um, since I'm going to be home, I need to turn this TV down. It's a little loud. Um, since I'm going to be home, I'm going to turn the TV down. Hey, booze. I'm back. <laughs> so I had got a package. Ah, the toy secret. I, um, I brought some perfume. Y'all, I've been good. I ain't going to lie. I haven't been spinning like that. <laughs> So only the Victoria's Secret stuff uh, perfume because I like to collect the um the perfumes and um and then the next purchase that I made was Sephora. That was the only thing, just Victoria's Secret and Sephora. Y'all, the other stuff I've been had. I'm just gonna show you guys. So what I got from Victoria's Secret that just came is this perfume called um you see it right here, Heavenly Dream Angel. By Victoria's Secret. This one smells so good. It smells like it's supposed to be for like nighttime. And here's how the bottle looks. Like you're supposed to go to bed with this one. It's okay. It's not overpowering. And then I got the body butter and the body spray. Usually body sprays, I give it to a little and stuff like that. And I also pick up this one. It's called Heavenly. Just plain heavenly. And then the bottle looks like this. This one smells so good. I don't know where I'm going to put this stuff. I think I'm going to put this in the bathroom. Oh, because I could use both of these for the bathroom. Like, um, uh, when I get out of the shower, use those all right, bathroom, bathroom perfumes. After the ba bed um, perfumes. And body butter. And then I picked up these two right here. Pink for all confidence and compassion. They came in that box. And the perfume's like this. I'm going to get these two little. So that's it and then i did pick up um uh some things from coach where did i put that bag i went to coach where did i put that bag i just had it so yeah i got the items um so when me and mister after the baby shower we went to get blue martinis got a drink and then we stopped by some stores and then i went inside the coach so i'm gonna show you the little items that i went um got from coach y'all they so cute some CC earrings, silver, 
And then I picked up this um, bracelet. It's a CC locket in gold. Look, dainty, dingly bracelet. Then I picked up this right here. Um, their signature C's chain. And on the inside, it has like um, some green diamonds. And then I picked up two silver, um, one is a bracelet, and then the other one is an anklet. Momo, no! Every time I talk, she be like, eh, try to see what I'm doing because she can't see me. <laughs> so, yeah, that's what I got from um, the coach store. That's it. I'm just waiting on my Sephora package. And y'all, that's it. That's it. I don't need nothing else. And the Sephora stuff is just mainly um, skincare because I'm just testing out different skincare products for different parts of my body. And yep, yeah, that's about it. So I'm going to put this stuff away because y'all, I'm trying to keep my stuff clean. I do clean, put things away. If I take something out, I need to put it away. If I'm going to get rid of something, I need to get rid of it right then and there. So that's what I'm doing. So I'll be back. Happy Saturday. I hope all is well. Y'all, we just came back from the Mexican market and yes, I got some stuff. I got some goodies. Y'all, the Mexican market has two parts. It has an outdoor and an indoor. So we went inside the indoor. The indoor usually sell all new um, name brand stuff like Nike shoes and jewelry, um, real gold jewelry, um, per real perfume like a perfume mania and stuff like that they have one of those inside the um mexican market and then i picked up a couple of stuff that it was on sale these are the only reason why i pick up these things because it was on sale so please 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 i did pick up lulu her favorite perfume by Nicki minaj she doesn't have this one this is M majesty I know Lulu don't have this one because this is a whole new bottle. I already had to start opening some of this stuff up and smelling them. This one smells really good. They didn't have no te testers um, in that place for me to test out to see, to smell it before I buy it. But I just looked at the names and said, you know what, I'll take a chance on it. Because this none of this stuff didn't cost no more than, um, like some of it costs, like the package that I'm going to show you, it cost $20. Like this stuff right here, this was only $15. 15 or 12 dollars if i'm not mistaken i think this was 15 dollars but um none of the stuff was no more than 20 dollars a pack but it was like less like five dollars and up five dollars to twenty dollars so so i pick up this for her this is how her bottle looks it's really cute i like the hot pink hair so i picked up that then i picked up um some uh what is call it? Pink sugar. Um, I picked the pink sugar red velvet. This one is, smells sweet. Just like the pink sugar. This is the original pink sugar perfume. But I picked up the red velvet one. And they both smell sweet. So they I like this. Uh, this I can say for it to be like not a um high-end perfume, it smells really good really sweet so I picked up the lotion for it and the body wash this place had the whole like the whole set and I picked up um, a body scrub pink sugar and I picked up the body butter so I got the whole little set of the pink sugar I was like girl you gonna smell pink sugar down <laughs> and then I also picked up um this perfume um, that I already started opening is Jean jo called Joy by Jean Jean Petro and here's the bottle right here excuse my nails I'm changing them <laughs> cuz I'm about to change my hair so I'm changing my nails too I'm letting them breathe um, here is uh, the perfume this one smelled it okay it smells it okay, but not so. It's, it has like a licorice smell to it, which make me feel like it's like, reminds me of medicine. So I didn't like that. So this was a, like a big bus one, blind buy. I'm gonna look, I have to look at the receipt on that price. I don't think that was that much. I think it probably was $10. So mm -mm, 
then I picked up this one. This is the Juicy Couture. Here is the box. Y'all, it's so hot outside. Y'all, it's hot out that door. Here's the Juicy Couture. And here's the perfume. What's the name of this? I'm just putting it down. Don't Couture Do Herself. I don't know. <laughs> Here we go. That's the name of it. So here's the bottle. I don't know about this little situation, but this is the bottle is cute. This little charm thing right here is cute. Like shaped like breast cancer awareness. But here it's like that. But I don't know about this crown thing. Hmm. If no. Uh, this one smell licorice too. Why didn't I read the notes? <laughs> Some of it just don't smell so good. Maybe the girls will like it. But I ain't, mm -mm, I ain't, my nose ain't feeling that one either. Maybe my girls. <laughs> oh, no, honey. Maybe my girls are like, yeah, I don't like that one. So then I picked up this one. Um, Future La Fima Perfume. Oh, I don't like those too. So that was a no for me. Uh, so I'm gonna put that to the side. Maybe the booze are like getting my little booze. <laughs> but mama don't like it. I wish they had a tester. I was just going by how the bottle looked in front of it, but they ain't had no tester. They, everything was inside. So here is this one. This bottle is cute. Okay. Oh, this one smells good. It's fruity with a tad bit of musk. I could smell, I could smell the jasmine, raspberry, strawberries. It just have like berries and, and a, a hint of a floral. But that smells good. This one is good. Oh, thank God. I'm about to say another one that's a bust. <laughs> Then I picked up this one right here um, by Jessica Simpson, Fancy Love. Yeah, I'm going to tell y'all, Lulu, she drink up perfume. So if I can just get little stuff. Because she go to school every day and she's drinking it up. And I know it's not just her. She's sharing it out with her friends. It's not just her. I mean, you know, I don't mind. Those booze got to smell good too. If she want to share, let, them, let her share. So... Because I know it's, it's not just her. She's letting her friends borrow her perfume. And they probably like, oh, Lulu, let me, let me smell your perfume. Oh, that girl, that smell good. Can I borrow some? You know how little girls are. So, can you hate on that? <laughs> so, this one, um, that Jessica Simpson, Fancy Love. Here is her bottle. It's cute. It's giving, like, OD bottles back in the days. Um, I don't mind. That's why I know that's that's how why she drinking it up so fast. Oh, this one smells good too. Y'all, I think y'all can find this stuff on eBay. If not eBay, check Amazon. Mm, that smells good. That is that smells good. That's I can I can roll with that one. That's her right there. The next one I picked up. From there is this one called Clean Classic White um, Warm Cotton. Looks like this. I think I saw this bottle before. That's why I picked this one up. That's the only reason why I picked this up because I could I could have sworn I seen this bottle before somewhere. So I was like, it's not gonna hurt to just pick this, get it. And plus, I didn't want to um, walk around. I wanted to stay in one spot. I didn't want to walk around looking for no um, Jack. <laughs> for his kind. Oh, that's... Oh, that's... Beyond. Is that for the your body or for the, for the bed? Here is this right here. It's called Clean Warm Cotton. Clean, clean 
classic warm cotton. Y'all, I don't know if this for the bed or for the body. Because this one smells like it's supposed Where's the box? This one smells like it's supposed to be for your bed. Let's see. It doesn't say for your bed. And here's the box right here. I don't know if I show you guys the box, but here's the box. Is this for your bed? It said it's de la perfume. This is perfume, y'all. It smells like a um the glade cotton um freshener. That's what this smell like. Oh, that smell nice. Oh I'ma spray this only on my clothes. Oh, that's a, like a boost of energy in the morning. That's what it reminds me of. So I also picked up this right here. Um, Rihanna Boo Rebel Perfume Set. This was 20 bucks. I know that for sure. And it looks like this. I remember smelling this before. And I think it does smell good. I hope it's this bottle or the light. I, I'm not sure if it's this bottle or the one that's wrapped in white. This is wrapped in black. I'm not sure of which one that I smell. But that one smells so freaking good. So I'm hoping. Oh, I'm sorry y'all. The noise. I'm hoping that this. The noise, my bad. Shot is <laughs> uh, hoping that, um, <laughs> I'm hoping that this one smells like the one I remember. So, here's the bottle right here. It's a really nice looking bottle. Oh, I hope it's the one. This one. I remember it was a white bottle and a black bottle. I'm not sure. Oh, it's this one. Oh, it has like a, a vanilla amber scent to it. It's like a vanilla amber warm pie. That's how I can um describe it. So I also oh, and it got some right here. And I also picked up um it also came with a shower gel as well as a body lotion and a mini one that you can just throw in your purse. So that is it that I picked up from the Mexican market, y'all. Oh, they had some other stuff, but I wasn't sure. I have to look. I did um, remember it's photograph in my memory of how the ones that I did say I wanted to try. I'm going to just remember to look online and see some reviews and read upon it because I don't want to you know just spend um like I did with these two I thought that was gonna smell good like the juicy couture in this one here this juicy couture I thought it was gonna smell good because all her other perfumes be smelling good hitting and then this one now these two smell like licorice and I don't like that smell mm, it's kind of like ugh, like little funky <laughs> I don't like that smell honey <laughs> But this other stuff, it smells good. What shocked me is this one right here, no lie. It's this clean classic warm cotton. That shocks me. That's like a, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking of as soon as you wake up in the morning, you say your prayers and do everything that you have to do for the Lord. And then you um go wash your face, brush your teeth. Or if you have to jump in the shower, jump in the shower. Then come out, dry off, spray this on your towel. Like spray this on your towel and damp yourself with it. And see if it open up your, your you know, open up, rejuvenate you. I don't know. I'm going to try that. And then spray this in the shower and then turn on the hot water and let that smoke a steam of freshness in the morning this smells really clean like what it says this smells really good no lie y'all 
that this one shocked me out of all of them the rihanna one smells like a um amber a vanilla amber pie to me and then this pink sugar red velvet it smells super super sweet it, I, it's gonna give me a headache but i gotta pair it with something with something a little stronger i gotta play with this one but it smells super sweet this is really sweet really sweet 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 tooth type of um scent um the Nicki minaj that's from my daughter and that's about it but this one the jessica simpson not bad I think I probably could pair this with that um, pink sugar to balance it out. Maybe I'm play around with it. So, yeah. Y'all, you know, that's it. But we're about to go out to eat to the sushi restaurant. It's an all-you-can-eat sushi restaurant in Doral. So, I'm going to take you guys along with me. But this is all I got for the Mexican market. Um, Mr. I know he's outside messing with that, that truck or whatever. Um, his truck. So... I don't know how long they going to take, but I am going to fix my son's hair, um, fix up his ponytail because he sweated out this weekend, this week from for school, and I'm talking about my little one. I'm going to do his ponytail, straighten it up because lately he's been uh, rocking his ponytail to school, no plaits, no braids, he's been looking a little cute, cute for school <laughs> with his little ponytail out. He has a lot of hair, y'all. Uh, Junior has a lot of hair, but he been rock, um, rocking his um, little ponytail, looking cute. So I'm gonna fix it up. I think he's feeling it now. At first he was like, "Ponytail, that's for girls." Let's give my braids. <laughs> my braids going back. Like, boy, let's try something different. Let your hair breathe from the braids. So I just put it in a like man, not a man bun, but a man bun that's going back but let the his hair like out his afro out but he's like feeling that a little bit y'all <laughs> a little little bit but i know he's gonna get tired of it i know he is he gonna miss his plot so i'm gonna put braids back in his hair so i'm gonna put this stuff away and i'll see y'all in the stuff i'm all done putting away the stuff but i did have another bag mister had gave me uh, it was some more it was hair perfume from pink sugar this one this one i know i had something else i was like did i get it or did i didn't uh, and this one these are all hair perfumes and then this one is a roll on shimmer perfume and that's it that's all i picked up <laughs> so we're about to go to the um sushi place i'm just waiting on them to get ready and then we're gonna leave to go to the sushi place so i i don't know what shoes i want to wear i do i do want to change my shoes i don't want to wear the same shoes i'm wearing green and brown so i was gonna wear my army jacket but it's too hot that we wearing a jacket so i'm just gonna throw on my handy dandy blue jack jean jacket like i always wear but i want to change the shoes i think i'm gonna wear some bait shoes and some bait socks if i had a noise in the background that's mm, playing with that twice so that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna wear that so i'm gonna get myself together while they getting this up together and then i'm gonna take you guys along with us so y'all can see um the sushi restaurant that we go to so see y'all later y'all okay, made it back home so y'all after we had dinner we went to sorry it's dark in here <laughs> after we had dinner we went to um hobby lobby and i just got something i brought a mirror i brought a mirror that was on sale this mirror right here 
so I brought that. Y'all can see it. I'm just going to take the words off of it. And I'm going to set it to where um, I have my vanity. Because I'm changing the... Um, I'm going to change the vanity that I have here. That's for my skincare. I'm going to change this area. <laughs> like I said, um, I'm going to be changing the skincare area the desk over there because I got mirrored stuff and I'm tired of cleaning all the mirrored stuff so I'm going to try to change all the mirrored uh, furniture that I have in this room and I'm thinking about just using that because th that's not really a desk that's like one of those um entryway tables that's what that is really and I'm just made it into a desk so honey I'm gonna use that somewhere downstairs in the entryway where the family room is and I'm going to um change the rose gold thing that I have down there because everything down here is like gray with gold hi everything down there is like gray and gold and stuff so I'm gonna change that just got off of work uh, oh the little handsome um, say hi girl if you're gonna interrupt i'm sorry <laughs> remember the handsome, <laughs> handsome, 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 handsome 